Hi, good afternoon. We'll call today's Housing, Urban Development, and Zoning Committee meeting to order. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Cohn. Present. Alderwoman Schweitzer. Present. Vice Chair Sonier. Alderman Browning. Present. Alderman Aldridge. Chair Clark Hubbard. Here. Vice Chair Sonier. Alderman Aldridge. We have four present. We have a quorum. All right. Uh, with that, I'll accept a motion to approve the minutes from April 4th, 2024. Approve the meeting minutes from Tuesday, April 30th, 2024. Second. All right. It's been moved by Alderman Cohn and seconded by Alderman Browning that we approve the minutes from April 4th, 2024. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Cohn. Aye. Alderwoman Schweitzer. Uh, point of order, it's April 30th. And, That's uh, what I I I know, but then Alderman. I did. Chairwoman Clark Hubbard said fourth. Just it was April 30th. Just making it, just making that point of order. Friendly uh, amendment. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Point of order. You can't make point of orders in the middle of a vote. Thank you, Alderman. All right. We'll uh, renew that motion for minutes from Tuesday, April 30th, 2024. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Cohn? Aye. Alderwoman Schweitzer? Aye. Vice Chair Sonier? Meeting minutes. Oh, aye. Alderman Browning? Aye. Alderman Aldridge? Chair Clark Hubbard? Aye. Alderman Aldridge? We have four I I'm sorry, five I votes. All right, with that we have approved the minutes from again from Tuesday, corrected Tuesday, April 30th, 2024. Let's see, we will uh, start with item number one. Alderwoman Spencer, you are recognized for Board Bill 17. Thank you, Madam Chair, members of the committee. Uh, Board Bill 17 is a rezoning bill uh, that has been recommended to me by the Zoning Commission. Um, what it would do is change the zoning of 930 Sydney Street from uh, K unrestricted to uh, D multifamily. Uh, I think there's a proposal, the current owner of the building um, is proposing to take a building that is um, largely made out of cinder blocks. It's an odd building. It's uh, kind of on the edge of Soulard, very close to the Anheuser-Busch Brewery, and build on top of it um, and make it a larger structure and one that has uh, several additional and make it residential. Uh, I think that the, the, the plan, the, the ultimate plan for it is not um, well-defined in its entirety right now, um, the concept being to turn it into multifamily. But I do think that the rezoning of it uh, to multifamily would be a good thing in the long run uh, for the neighborhood. Um, and again, you know, I really leaned into the Zoning Commission and our city staff on this one uh, and am taking their recommendation on, uh, <clears throat> on rezoning this. This bill was written by that department. Okay, great. We'll start with questions. Ottoman Cohn. Thank you, Madam Chair. I just want to... Uh, acknowledge that there are very few areas of our city that are in that uh, K designation of unrestricted. Um, it is uh, preferable, I think, for many neighborhoods and communities to have a more defined uh, code associated with parcels um, so that they can understand what might, might happen at those parcels at a future point in time. Um, so very much uh, supportive of this uh, piece of legislation moving this from unrestricted to uh, D multifamily dwelling district. Thank you. All right, Alderwoman Swicer. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much uh, for for being here and talking about this. I'm looking around the the property on street. It looks like it's surrounded by. Um, businesses, maybe a school right there too, it looks like. Um, can you just describe the area a little bit more? 
Sure, yeah, that's actually Jean Slade's Boys and Girls Club, which uh, what looks like a school. It's an enormous uh, area for kids to play. There is a bar right across the street, at uh, Caddy Corner, uh, directly across the street from it, and then down the street is all residential until for that block until you get to Anheuser-Busch. It is on the edge of really, you know, it's, it's a residential area. I mean, there's a, there's a little corner pub is more how I would describe that little bar, uh, but... Um, you know, it's 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 very much within the heart of the Soulard residential neighborhood. That's that's what it looks like. I, I appreciate that, and I look forward to supporting this today. Thank you. Great, Adam and Brownie. Uh, thank you, and uh, I remember seeing the planning commission and thought it was really a creative reuse of a building that is otherwise pretty unremarkable and would be just a straight tear down in a lot of cases. So excited to see them turn this into housing. Uh, I think it's great to be adding more housing to that area and hope that the people there don't mind the noise from big daddies next door. Uh, <laughs> but otherwise, you know, they know what they're getting into. Uh, it, it's, it's a good site for some more housing and I look forward to supporting this. All right, Ottoman Aldridge. No questions. Vice Chair Sanye. All right, how do we miss Fancy? You're welcome to close. No, thank you, uh, uh, Madam Chair. I, I have to agree. Uh, anytime you can add some restrictions and put some uh, boundaries around those K unrestricted zones uh, is a good thing. Um, and so, um, you know, I'm hopeful this too, you know, with some more, with occupying that space, I don't know if you saw in the news, but Big Daddy's has been broken into three times in the last like five weeks. And so, you know, just kind of populating that little, it's a little pocket of Sular that doesn't have a lot of residents right there. So I'm hoping this can kind of spur some more population there. And with that, I ask for your favorable consideration on board bill number seven. All right, I'll accept the motion on board bill number 17. Uh, move that we pass board bill number 17 with a pass recommendation. Second. Second. All right, there's been a motion by Alderman Browning, seconded by Alderman Aldridge that we pass board bill 17 with a due pass recommendation. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Aye. Autumn McCon. Aye. Auto Woman Swicer. Aye. Vice Chair Sonia. Aye. Autumn and Browning. Aye. Autumn and Aldridge. Aye. Chair Clark Hubbard. Aye. We have six I votes. All right. With that, you have successfully passed Board Bill 17. Congratulations, Autumn Woman Spencer. Uh, per the sponsor's request, Board Bill 41 is going to be um, pulled from the agenda today, held on the agenda today. So with that, I will turn it over to Vice Chair Sanye for Board Bill 33. I'm sorry, 34. Thank you, Alder Woman Clark Hubbard. You are recognized to speak to Board Bill Number Thirty Four. Thank you, Vice Chair Sayet. Madam Clerk, can you read the summary for Board Bill Thirty Four, please? Board Bill Thirty Four, introduced by Alder Woman Shamim Clark Hubbard, an ordinance recommended by the by the one board of estimate and apportion, apportionment, repeal an ordinance number 71822 in its entirety and amend, an or, <clears throat> and amend the ordinance number 71393, ordinance number 71494, ordinance number 71505, ordinance number 71554, ordinance number 71561, ordinance number 71591, and ordinance number four, <clears throat> an ordinance number 71592, an ordinance number 71650, 
by reappropriating certain amounts specified herein in an aggregated amount of 13 million, 13 million, 819, $64 for other purposes with an emergency clause. Thank you so much, Madam Clerk. So um, thank you to the committee for us being able, this opportunity to re-legislate this. I did send some background information um, again this morning, as well as reminded us all that this, um, the presentation was given on this back in March, on March 26th. I shared the link, and for anyone that's watching, this is the beauty of us having STL TV and having all of our meetings uh, recorded and aired live. You can also go back um, on March 26th and watch that HUD's committee hearing, as well as you can go back and watch the special um, ENA committee, I'm sorry, committee hearing that was held on May 22nd um, regarding this board bill now, board bill 34. So I do, there is one um, difference in this one and the new one. And I noted that in the email, but I'll just repeat it as well here, that um, there was a reduction of $40,947.42.42. That was a reflection of a vendor that needed to be paid, and that came um, from the recommendation of the Comptroller's Office. Today with me, I have Ms. Sarah Baker from the Mayor's Office for if you have any additional questions. Um, but again, I'm asking for you all's favorable consideration, Board Bill 34, so that we can re-appropriate um, this money again and get it on the ground where it's needed. Thank you, Alderwoman Clark Hubbard. Um, we will go through the committee and a list of questions unless there was something that you wanted to add. I just asked Ms. Baker, did you have any formal comments? Okay, you're just here for questions. Okay. All right. Yes, we'll go through with the questions. Thank you. No problem. Alderman Cohn. Uh, thank you. I uh, don't have any questions. I just want to somewhat reiterate for the, the public because I did have questions from constituents about um, this might maybe another opportunity to try and reallocate or, you know, kind of rehash the conversation around reappropriations of these funds. And, uh, you know, this is a bill that we did already pass previously. There was a, you know, kind of Scrivener's error, I'll call it, with the previous bill. So, we're not trying to kind of rehash the conversations that we had from the previous session, but uh, instead trying to make sure that we're allocating the monies in accordance to the original intention of the last bill. Um, and so, you know, want to be supportive of that and also continue the conversation, excuse me, uh, continue the conversations with the administration with regard to potential future reallocations and reappropriations of the funds. So uh, thank you, Alderwoman, for bringing this back before us. I've had to do this once already myself this session, uh, so I very much appreciate how this can be a little awkward. Thank you. Alderwoman Schweitzer. Thank you so much. I appreciate the comments from Alderwoman as well um, as the presentation today. Uh, because we have Ms. Baker here, it'd be great to just hear an update. If there have been anything since the last time they were in front of us talking about ARPA funds, anything we should excited about or, you know, anything that we should be looking out for um, if she is able to, to give any, any further info. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Sarah Baker. This is very loud. I'm the Deputy Chief of Staff for Mayor Tashara Jones. As far as new and exciting, I don't have a lot more to share. We do keep our ARPA portal updated with our spending, programmed, and expenditures. Um, I'm particularly excited because I work mostly on the public safety portfolio about how we're moving forward with the criminal crime initiative. We had our first public meeting uh, last week. Uh, Alderman Narayan was at that meeting as well, so we're starting to hit the ground with TA contracts for that, so um, that's one area that I would highlight that's moving. But otherwise, for the general public, checking our ARPA portal is the best place to see for those developments. Thank you so much. I also recently attended the Kings Highway um, open house. I know a few of those, and we should be expecting those open houses for the other corridors soon. I don't know the exact cadence. I can email that to you. I don't have it in front of me, though. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, 
Uh, thank you, and uh, appreciate Alderman Cohn's comments about you know we're just redoing this, uh, so there's not really too much to dive into as far as questions. I think we've mostly had our questions answered. Um, so I just want to say that uh, I'm excited about some of these reallocations. Uh, I, I think what I often hear from people is you know like nothing's getting done, and I. I'm always like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> there's a lot getting done. In fact, it's almost so much that we can't talk about it quickly. Um, but just to highlight a couple of things that on this list that I'm excited about, housing stabilization, capital repairs and supplies, violence reduction, uh, overhaul of the zoning code, uh, making sure that we have sidewalk improvements, the flood wall, uh, water relief and infrastructure, private tree removal. All these are really exciting things that actually all impact our constituents' day-to-day -day lives. So. Uh, I'm eager to get this passed and get these uh, funds out the door so that we can get them spent by the deadline. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Aldridge. No questions. Thank you, and um, I don't have any questions either. I would just thank the sponsor and thank the mayor's office. I've been able to ask all my questions get all of my information you know offline I think for me whatever um, I can do as an individual or I'm sure the committee as a whole to kind of get some of these things some of the reallocations out to the community because I, I at least feel like in my ward a lot of constituents are not aware of some of the reallocations of what we've what we've gone to so I've tried to like kind of educate them and tell them like what that's going on but I think especially like the thing that Alderman Brown mentioned with the trash pickup and different things are things that as some of the issues we have are going on, I've been able to tell them, look at some of these things the city is doing to address it. So I think just whatever we can do to kind of increase the ever going job of public engagement and public awareness of some of these allocations that I do think are great, I'm happy to be a part of. And with that, Alderwoman Clark Hubbard, you're recognized to close. Thank you so much. And thank you all again for your comments. I mentioned it in hearing about the importance I felt of us getting this narrative out to our community how this money gets right back on the ground where we would most allocate it for it to be um, and advocate as well for it to be. So uh, with that, I'm asking for your favorable consideration and do pass recommendation of Board Bill 34. Excellent. Um, I will accept a do pass recommendation for, I mean, I will accept a motion for a do pass recommendation for Bill or Bill number 34. I'll move that we pass Board Bill 34 out with a do pass recommendation. Second. Previous row. Hearing no objections. Alderwoman Clark Hubbard, you have successfully passed Board Bill number 34. Thank you. All. All right, going back to the agenda, did we have any uh, written comments? No. We have none. Any committee discussions? We have none. Any announcements? All right, we are all, all members are present, so we don't have any excused members. That I'll accept the motion for adjournment. Second, previous row. All right, see you all later, everyone. Have a blessed day.